Arithmetic operators. These are the basic operators that we can perform with numbers. And I think we are all familiar with these four operations. So I'll just quickly run through them. First, addition. We use the plus sign to add two numbers. Subtraction works in a similar way, but we use the minus sign instead of the plus one. For multiplication, we use the asterisk symbol, which is like adding in an iterative way. For, and for division, we use the slash symbol to divide two numbers. One thing to keep in mind that whenever we divide two numbers in Python, we always get the result in floating point numbers. Now, let's talk about these three operators. First, exponentiation. In Python, the double asterisk symbol is used for exponentiation, which is kind of odd because most of the time, like in calculators, we use this symbol, caret, for exponentiation. But in Python, this symbol is used for XOR operation, which is a bitwise operator, and... Uh, we, we don't do that here. So, if I do something like 2 double asterisk, which means to the power 10, we'll get 1024, right? And we did. We can do square root as well by raising it to the power of 0 0.5 or 1 by 2. But be careful to involve brackets when you are doing it in fractional way as it can produce confusion that you are raising the number by 1 and dividing it by 2 rather than taking the square root of the number. This is because Python follow mathematical order of operation. But we don't have to worry too much about them because we can always use brackets which tells which operation to come first and which should come next. Next, co-division or interdivision. It is denoted by two backslash symbols. It divides two numbers and gives the smallest integral value near it. So if I do 7 double backslash 2, we'll get 3. Comparing it with division, you can see that it have remove the fractional part but if i do minus 7 double backslash 2 we got minus 4 quite odd right this is because it round downs the value to the smallest integral value near it and we know that minus 4 is smaller than minus 3 right at last we have modulus operator which is denoted by percent symbol it gives the remainder after dividing two numbers. So if we divide 7 by 5, we get 2 as a remainder, which is denoted by this modulus operation, and 1 as a quotient, which is denoted by this code division operation. One useful application of these two operators is like when we have the number 1, 2, 3, 4 and we want the first digit of it, which is 1. Well, for that, we can so divide it by 1000 and we'll get the number. But if you want the first 2, which is 1, 2, well, for that, we can just remove 1, 0 from here and we'll get the number. What about if we, if we want these 3, 1, 2, 3? Well, in the same way, we can just remove 1, 0 from here and we'll get the number. I hope you see the pattern here. But what if I just want 3? Three? 3, yeah. For that, uh, we can use modulus operator and we'll get the number. Uh, what if I just want 2? Well, for that, I have to add 1, 0 here and I'll get the number. So that's it for this video. In next video, we'll talk about variables.